All right, in this problem, we are going to be looking at a secondary clarifier. Uh, we're talking about conventional wastewater treatment. So remember, we've gone through some various types of pretreatment. We've screened out the big stuff. We've gotten the, we've let the grit settle out. We've gone to our primary clarifier where we've just let gravity do its thing. We let the solids settle to the bottom. We let the scum float to the top, scrape, mop, pump it out. Then we move into secondary treatment. We're talking about ASP or activated sludge process where we aerate the water, we add a bunch of beneficial microorganisms to start to consume that organic matter. After that aeration base in the AB, then we're gonna send that over to our secondary clarifier, which does exactly what our first primary clarifier does. It's gonna just slow the water down and let the heavy stuff settle out. So here's our secondary clarifier. It's got a 50 foot diameter. This is treating a flow of 2.5 million gallons per day, or MGD, and we measure a suspended solids concentration to be about 1,200 milligrams per liter. So we're going to be calculating two calculations here. We're going to be calculating the weir overflow rate and the solids loading rate. So we'll start with the solid loading rate because we want to settle the solids out first. So my solid loading rate, or my SLR, you've got to go to your wastewater formula sheet and remember, okay, what is that? That is my pounds of solids divided by the area of my clarifier, right? The area available to settle those solids out, right? So if you picture the bottom of this clarifier, that's what we're dividing by. We're dividing by this area right here. Now, when we see pounds formula, what should be thinking? We should be thinking right away, pounds formula, okay? So what do we need for our pounds formula in order to calculate pounds of solids? We need our concentration or volume and our weight of water. The concentration of our solids here we're given is going to be 1,200 times my volume or flow. In this case, I've got 2.5 million gallons per day times the weight of water, which again is 8.34 pounds per gallon, right? So this is going to get me to pounds of solids. Now I need to calculate the area of my clarifier. Again, in water math, that's going to be that 0.785 times my diameter squared, in this case, times my 50 feet, times my 50 feet, right? This is the area available for solids to settle out, right? To quote unquote load. So let's run our handy dandy calculators here. When we run the top, we get 1200 times that 2.5 times my 8.34 weight of water. And I get to a 25020, so 25,000 pounds of solids divided by my area. So 0 0.785 times 50 times 50. That gets me to 1962.5. And this is going to be square feet, right? As an area, feet times feet gives me square feet. Now I'm just going to divide those two out. So 25,020 divided by 1,962.5, and that's going to get me to 12 point, we'll call it 75 pounds of solids per square foot of clarifier. And that is my solid loading rate. Now we're going to take this same scenario, right? After a certain amount of detention time, we've let our solids settle out, right? We're happy with the clarity that we see. We're happy with the turbidity of the water coming out. So we've settled our solids out here. Now, where does that water go, right? Well, when it leaves, it leaves over the top of our clarifier. It leaves over that weir, right? Those so-called shark teeth, if you will. So what do we want to calculate now? We want to calculate our weir overflow rate which I'm going to abbreviate as WFR, weir, flow, or weir overflow rate. And what is this? The formula for the weir overflow rate, we want to know Q, and we want it to be in terms of gallons per day. And we want to divide that out by the length of my weir. Now, notice a big difference between the weir overflow rate and the solid loading rate. We're not dividing by area. We're dividing by the length of the weir. Right? So remember, that's going to be a different formula that's on that first page of our wastewater conversion sheet for the state. So 
My flow rate, Q, so I've already given that here, is 2.5 million. We're going to write that out all the way. Pounds formula, we like to you know, plug it in as million gallons. But everything else, we're going to write it out in terms of gallons, right? So 2,500,000 gallons per day. Flow rate, we're going to divide it by the length of my weir. Now, I'm not directly given the length. If I plug in 50, that's going to be very wrong, right? That's the diameter. So I need to remember that, okay, the circumference of a circle is going to be pi times diameter. A lot of times in wastewater math, we just use 3.14 for simplicity. If you want to punch in pi on your calculator, it's absolutely okay too. In this case, I gave a diameter of 50 feet. So if I do, let me clear out my calculator here. If I do my pi, or in other words, I'll just do 3.14 for simplicity times 50, I get to 157 feet of weir, right? Notice those units, it's feet, it's not square feet. We're dividing by a length, right? Imagine you're on the outside here, you're walking around the outside in a linear fashion to get the length of that weir. I remember the reason we use a weir is it helps to elevate and stabilize that flow, right? We want nice uniform flow coming out of our clarifier into that trough where we're capturing that water and on its way to our tertiary treatment. So the length here is 157 feet. So now I'm just going to divide it out. So 2,500,000 divided by my 157 feet of weir length, and I get to a weir overflow rate of 15,900 and I'll call it 924 gallons per day per foot of weir. Right, that's how much water is flowing over each foot of this weir. So again, we're talking about a secondary clarifier. We started by calculating the solid loading rate, right? As those solids had settled out, we finished with our weir overflow rate. That is the clean, clear water that's leaving secondary. That's going to head and head over to tertiary. All right.